Hey guys, welcome back to the channel today. We, or tonight I should say, we are taking a French overnight train from Paris to Toulouse. Okay, so you do know what time it is. I'm gonna give you guys a room tour. We are in a first class coach chat for four people and we actually just have it to ourselves for just the two of us. When Rob talks about pricing in a little bit, he'll tell you how we scored that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about this. So first thing I noticed when I came into the room is it felt like these were little um, couches almost. They're like cushions um, and the, the covering on them, the upholstery is kind of like uh, you would get like on a couch or something like that. Each of the four beds has a pillow and blanket or sleeping bag. We'll find out what that is in a minute. And then you also get a kit trip kit and a bottle of water so that means we get four bottles of water um, which we'll need on this trip so let's open this up and see what's inside this little trip kit so you're seeing it as I'm seeing it I haven't opened one yet it looks like we've got ourselves a mask here yes uh, eye masks so we can put that on over my eyes sleep and then also some earplugs which will probably come in handy. And then we also have a little like freshening wipe. And let's see what we have here. Oh, tooth. Oh, it's a uh, kind of like it, it feels. Oh, this is like a, a tooth uh, pill. So it's like um, in a pill form, but it's like toothpaste and you chew it and then just rinse it out and throw it out and then just a little cloth here as well so a little bit uh that's actually quite helpful for your journey and then as i mentioned earlier we get a pillow i'm gonna open that up each bed has a pillow on it and it already has a little um, pillow case on it and then let's see what we got right here is it a sleeping bag or is it a blanket we'll find out in just a second let's move this here let's move this there and let's open it up and see what, oh it is a sleeping bag i think it is it's a sleeping bag so it looks like see how it's closed in here lay on that and then you've got snaps you can do so that's what you're laying on top of here so you're not actually sleeping on this itself you're sleeping on the little kind of sleeping bag thing and then you just snap yourself in if you want or don't so that's kind of cool that we've got that and you can stay nice and warm in here so yeah here it is my whole bed all set up and ready to go easy peasy look at that okay so we've got uh We've got four of those. I guess if it gets really cold tonight, we can use some of the other sleeping bags from upstairs. But the cool thing is, is if you follow our channel for any length of time, you know, poor Rob always takes one for the team because I'm a little bit claustrophobic and he usually sleeps in the upper bunk. But tonight, I know he's super excited because we both get to sleep on the bottom. <laughs> so he's going to be sleeping on this side and I'm going to be sleeping here. But let me finish giving you a tour of this room. This is amazing. So this ladder right here actually comes out and it slides out. So this part here slides up and down and you can move it into there. All right. So if you need to climb up, you just climb up through these stairs. Easy breezy. No problem. There's a table back here where you can set things down, store things for night and things like that. So that's fantastic, all right? Each bed has a light, although unfortunately this one is not working, but you got a little night light there if you need that for reading or whatever. And all right, let's take a look at the door here. 
So you've got two different kinds of locks on the door here. You've got the handle here, which you pull in and out. Then you've got open and close here. And then you have an open and close here. So you, that's, you double lock it basically. So we've got it locked there and we've got it locked here. The whole thing is locked. So you can't open it or close it or open it right now. Um, and then we've got an emergency switch here, which we don't have to do anything with, obviously. And then we've got a temperature gauge here. Now, again, this is not going to make a huge difference in your room. It's just a little slight temperature change for you. Um, but you can make it warmer or cooler by where you switch it to. Of course, tonight it's quite cool, so we have it on warm. Here, you can turn the speaker either on or off. This isn't a volume. It's either all the way on or all the way off. Okay, so as I was doing the tour, you heard the knocking. That was the room steward. <laughs> he came to check on us, just make sure that everything was okay. He's actually in the room right next door to us. So I guess we'll be in good hands all night. <laughs> okay, so let's keep going. We talked about the two locks. So you can lock here and here, and that gives you extra safety. If you want to just sleep with the one, then that's fine, whatever. Also, if you want the door open, this is kind of a stopper as well that keeps it open for you if you want it open, okay? And I already went, oh, I was talking about the volume on or off. And then here is a light switch. And that light switch um, will have the lights all the way on like they are right now, all the way off, or there's also a night light to it. Okay, and now I want you to look up above that. I'm just gonna climb up, hopefully he won't fall. And you can see up there, it is the storage space. Look at all that storage up there. There's so much more storage. There's so much more than you can, than you think. So you've got all that up there, plus all these up here. Right now we're laying out our rain jackets because it was raining on our walk over to the station today and they are quite wet. And we also have some space underneath the beds, the lower bunks as well. So they can store down there. And if there were people up here, then they would be able to store up there. So there is plenty of room in here, I feel like, for four people. It's actually quite amazing. And you've got those little baskets there, kind of that netting um, by each bed. So you can store your night things there. There's really a lot in here. I really like this room. I think it's really spacious. There are bathrooms, two bathrooms on each end of the car of each of the Kochak cars. So we've got that as well. And I really am excited to spend the night on this train. I'm gonna give a quick test of the stairs and see actually how difficult or easy it is to get up there. I think it's gonna be pretty easy. Just pull that out. It oh, looks yeah. about good. So far, so good. As long as you don't pull that out. See? Okay. 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 Yeah, that, that's pretty easy. <laughs> Uh, so a couple impressions here of this sleeper. First of all, I'm on the top and the ceiling height is amazing. You don't normally find that where you have this much headspace on the top and you actually have the same on the bottom. So I really love that. Uh, especially as someone that usually sleeps on the top, it's great if there's four people in here. But we don't have four people. There's only gonna be two of us. Uh, we paid, $125 each to be in this sleeper overnight and then there's a thing you can do where you pay an extra supplement to have the room totally to yourself so that was an extra 50 euros uh, so it was 300 euros total for the room and the supplement and then we have the whole four berth uh, couch at to ourselves so that is really cool now I, I'm wondering though if you are I don't know if I can get a shot of this though hey. from further away if you are sleeping up here, there is this one like strap to hold you in, but it's just the one. It's just the one. So I don't know how that works. I don't know. We're not going to have to find out um, because no. it's just the one thin strap and it would be right about where your head is. So you hang yourself yeah, from a stick. I don't know how it's going to work. Now the other, thing, the other thing with this is that we don't think, we're not totally sure, but we don't think this is going to come with uh, a meal or food of any type so we did bring our own food we went to a grocery store by our hotel we're staying uh, in downtown Paris and we picked up a little bit of dinner for tonight and we picked up a little bit of breakfast for the morning so in just a minute we'll show you what we got we're gonna have our first meal on that little table but uh, this is gonna be great we're gonna wake up and we should be in or near Toulouse
Okay, I am checking out the bathroom in this French overnight sleeper train. And I have to say, it is pretty nice, uh, pretty spacious. So you got the toilet right here. And plenty of room. It's, it's not an angled toilet, but there's plenty of room on both sides, so I love that. And then the sink is here, and there's actually counter space, which is so rare. Uh, there's a couple of mirrors and a little ledge here you can set stuff. Supplied with paper towels and with toilet paper. So this is a really big bathroom for a sleeper car. And uh, yeah, I, I think this is really great. There is also in the hallway uh, another bathroom which does not have a toilet, it's just a sink. And then there's another set of bathrooms on the other end. So tons of bathrooms on this. You're probably not gonna have to wait too long for people in line today because there aren't that many people on the trains. One thing I also wanted to point out that I just read here on the door, uh, it says that it's forbidden to use the bathroom while the train is in the station. So I think that's only because maybe the, the waste dumps out the bottom they don't want that happening in the station the other interesting thing is when you go to try to flush this toilet, there's nothing on the wall over here you actually step on that little button right there and that is how you uh, flush the toilet so kind of interesting and cool bathroom here on this train mm, okay i did a little test here and it's quite comfortable so the beds kind of have a little a little U shape, a little cradle kind of here in the middle. And for if you're sleeping down here, that's kind of what keeps you from rolling about. And now that the train is moving around, I can kind of feel that. But this is going to be really comfortable to sleep in. I'm actually really quite surprised. But I think we're going to grab a quick snack here before we go to bed. And then we're going to go to bed before we pull into Toulouse in the morning. Okay, we have our dinner set up here on the train because we don't think we're getting anything so we did bring we stopped by the grocery store we did pretty good i think we bought stuff that you wouldn't have to cook and that you can kind of eat for dinner so what, what did we pick out well on sundays <laughs> this is a fun family fact for us uh raising our kids we always had breakfast for dinner on sundays and today happens to be sunday and we thought why not buy breakfast for dinner but these are easy because uh, it's waffle and chocolate chip pancakes in this little bag. So we got this and then uh, we, we wanted to throw a little bit of fruit in there. We like traveling with some, with some of these. So we had some of these with us. So we're gonna share that. And then of course we're in France. So definitely get some macaroons. They got a little bit squished in my bag, um, but we're gonna share those as well. And then of course we got our water here um, from the train. So we're gonna share that tonight and uh, we'll be ready to wash up and get ready for bed. Yeah, I'm most excited to see what those pancakes look like. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be pretty they good. They smell really good. I've had the waffles already. Those are really good. They, <laughs> and Obviously, we've and tried the yeah, macaroons, we've tried those and they are as you can see, really two are well. missing. <laughs> so, let's yeah. open the pancakes and see how they taste. Alright, let's see, here we go. It actually smells like they, like they have a syrup almost on them, so let's break off a piece. These are chocolate chip pancakes, so... Mmm, that actually tastes pretty homemade. It's pretty good. I forget what these are, what these um, came in. So those are really good. Rob, you're gonna like those. And then we know the waffle's good, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of one of these macarons. How about that? Mmm. This is lemon. Oh, it's unbelievable. If you've never tried a macaron, you definitely should try one. And if you come to France, you have to try one. I don't think it counts if you don't eat one when you're here. Getting ready to go to bed for the night. So the last thing is we have this cool shade uh, that comes all the way down, covers up both windows. So we pull that all the way down and we can turn the nightlight on and we're good to go. Uh, but the other thing is that we found out there are no charging outlets in this room. So can't charge your phone you can't charge anything up overnight that you would normally charge so we did happen to bring our charging block with us which has two usb 
chargers, so we'll both be able to charge our phone in that. So if you do get one of these rooms, you may want to bring one of these with you. Otherwise, you'll wake up in the morning and not have service or any power on your phone. Waking up this morning, we're just about 15 minutes outside of Toulouse, and we slept really well on the train. It's very quite quiet. Uh, it's pretty smooth. The horn doesn't blow at all, uh, so you're not going to be woke up by that. And there were there weren't very many stops, so not very many start many starting and stopping uh, situations. So slept really good. The plan today is we're going to get off, take a look around Toulouse, have a fun day there, and then. On the same day, we're riding the train back to Paris. We'll be able to see it during the day and see what the views were like that we were sleeping during. Uh, and so we'll be back in less than 24 hours. It's going to be a good, quick trip. Uh, but come with us, check out Toulouse, and we'll see what that scenery was like on the way back to Paris. All right, we pulled into Toulouse here, uh, got off the train. The sun has not come up yet, as you can see, darkness around me. But we're going to head down to the central part of the city, kind of the downtown area, and look around there. We walk down to see the sunrise over these beautiful bridges. This is Pont Neuf behind me, and we're just gonna catch the sunrise over the, uh, the river. It's a little bit windy and rainy, but it's such a beautiful city, so we're going to show you a little bit of what it looks like in the daylight. So we noticed a lot of young people around as we were walking down here um, and then realized we walked right past the university. So that must be where they're all headed this morning. Must be for some early classes. <laughs>
Okay, went into a little uh, bakery right here near the church, which we're about to tour here in a few minutes, and decided to get a croissant and a chocolatine, which is a croissant with chocolate inside basically, but it's shaped differently. So it looks like this, and it's light and fluffy like air, and the croissant is enormous. It's practically the size of my head if I can get it out of this bag. Let me show you what that looks like. Oh boy. It is stuck in this bag for life. There we go. Look at this thing. It's almost the size of my head. Mm. Absolutely amazing. Each of those was just one ear. This is one of the best things you'll ever taste. The chocolate inside is just amazing. I love this. I better eat one more bite and then give some to Allie before <laughs> I eat the whole thing. Found a kebab shop here in Toulouse on the way back to the station and the food looks really amazing. Okay, this is absolutely amazing. Some of the most delicious um, kebab we've ever had, I think. Um, we did pay uh, six and a half euros each for our meal and we got this huge kebab fries and a drink with it. Definitely worth the stop. All right, we're hopping on our Wego train from Toulouse back to Paris should be a little over four hours to get there and we'll be getting in about uh, 6 30 mm -hmm. tonight. Yep. paid uh, about 49 euros each for these tickets and we did pay a little bit extra to be on the upper level uh, so $16 I think to be able to pick which level and which direction you wanted to face so we picked upper level uh, facing forward and so there's uh, just a little over 100 euros for this trip Bienvenue à bord de notre TGV Ouigo numéro 7672 à 
destination de la gare de paris montparnasse Je vous rappelle que notre train desservira les gares de Montauban, d'Agen, Bordeaux-Saint-Jean et sera sans arrêt de la gare de Bordeaux-Saint-Jean jusqu'à notre terminus de la gare de paris montparnasse Mesdames et messieurs, d'ici quelques instants, moi-même et mon collègue, nous allons nous passer par niveau afin de nous assurer que votre voyage se déroule au mieux. Si vous avez des questions, n'hésitez pas à nous solliciter, nous y répondrons avec plaisir. Je vous informe qu'à notre bord, mesdames et messieurs, votre bagage cabine doit être absolument placé sous votre siège. En effet, tous les bagages volumineux soumis à option d'achat lors de l'achat de votre petit de de transport doivent être mis sur les espaces communs. Ces espaces étant payants, tous les petits bagages cabines sur ces espaces devront être régularisés de la somme de 20 euros après notre passage. Mesdames et messieurs, je m'adresse aux voyageurs voyageant avec des enfants en bas âge. Sachez qu'en voiture numéro 17, à l'étage, vous, vous trouverez un espace nursery qui est à votre disposition. Une table pour changer votre enfant, un lavabo ainsi qu'un champion s'ils fonctionnent, sont à votre disposition là-bas. Enfin, mesdames et messieurs, je vous rappelle qu'à notre bord, il n'y a pas de bar ni de vente ambulante. Sachez que par décret de le 1er janvier 2022, normalement, la restauration à bord vous est désormais interdite. Mais vu la longueur de notre train, une, une tolérance vous est accordée si vous devez vous restaurer très brièvement ou désaltéré également très brièvement. J'insiste sur le fait de très brièvement. Par ailleurs, en cette période de, de crise sanitaire, il est absolument obligatoire de respecter les consignes sanitaires à notre bord. Malgré notre passe vaccinal valide pour accéder dans notre train, sachez que le port du masque est absolument obligatoire durant tout le voyage et ceci jusqu'à votre sortie de votre garde arrivée. Le masque doit être porté sur le visage complètement. Je vous rappelle, mesdames et messieurs, plutôt à certains, que le nez fait partie du visage. Pour que le masque soit effectif et qu'il serve à la distanciation dans notre train, vous devez absolument le porter sur le nez, la bouche et le menton en même temps.
All right, that's a wrap on Paris to Toulouse in an overnight sleeper train. And then we made it back to Paris all within 24 hours. We had a great time on the sleeper train. Uh, it was unexpectedly great and we just really enjoyed it. So hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel, give us a like, and we'll see you on the next video.